Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and this video is going to be shorter version of what I really want to explain. Okay, so first and foremost, we talked about scope chain and we have studied a whole lot in detail about it. We have also studied about the variable object. Remember these two bottom lines. But there is another guy which we cannot study in depth about this right now, which is this keyword. Now this keyword, you might have heard from a variety of other programmers, this is very notorious in JavaScript. And no, it is not. It just is its understandable concepts are a little bit different from other languages. That's why it's considered as notorious. Why can't we study about it in detail as this point? Because the base that we have created throughout the series is about some variables, some conditionals and some functions. That's it. But there's a whole lot of things that we have to learn first and then things will become much more easier picture will get much more clear to understand. So that's why I consider this as a friendly introduction to this, but not a complete guide. It will be reconnected again in the future videos. We have a plan for that. Okay, so let me just introduce you this keyword uh, with a couple of things here. So first and foremost, let's go up here inside this keyword. Consider this as a part one. Let's go ahead and mark it to do as well and call it as part one. Part one for this keyword. There we go. Okay, first and foremost, what is this keyword? Remember I told you about this global context that we have? So what this global context is, the best way to find out what is inside your global context is to just print out this keyword. This will give you a whole lot of idea that what your execution engine, V8 engine or maybe other browser engines, what they are holding up for you and what properties are there inside. If I run this code, which is node uh, 03, and inside the 06. So if I run this one here, now notice it gives me an empty set of parentheses, which is an empty scope. Remember, I talked about it a couple of times and that's exactly the reason why I talked about it, that this is an empty scope. But this is not gonna be the always the case. Right now we are running it with the help of node engine, which ultimately supports the V8 engine. That's why we are having this empty parentheses. But when you'll take this exact same code onto the browser, you're gonna see something which is different. So let's go up here and we can actually open this up on any web page technically. Go into the console, clean up the screen, console, console.log this. When I run this one, this time I'm getting a global context this time, which is a window here, and which has a lot of properties, by the way, and we can check a whole lot of things inside it. In fact, I would recommend you to spend some time, you won't be understanding it much, but having a look is always a great idea if you want to understand things in depth. So coming on to the point, here, if I run this console.log, it gives me a window, but if you're gonna run it on any other engine of JavaScript, you might be getting something bit different than this. So make sure you always check out that what's your global context by running the keyword, which is this. Now, as of now, we can only understand this much of it. Now, surely I can introduce you with some more things, uh, which are gonna look like that I'm trying to show you the usage of this, but technically I'm not. So let's just say if I just create a simple game, uh, let's just, not game, game, and that game is uh, basketball, okay. Now, this is a simple familiar variable, and if I just create another uh, something like this, let's create a function instead of this. Create a function, which is gonna be again, say name, just like this, and try to have this one. And I can have a couple of variables here as well, like name is gonna be Hitesh, and I would like to just go ahead and simply log this keyword here. Now, what you're gonna get in this piece of code, let's just run this as well, say name, there we go. So what do you expect you're gonna get, what you're gonna get in this, this keyword here? Now this brings the whole lot of confusion. Let me try to run this one. Now in the case of my node engine, I'm getting an empty scope which is coming up from line number three, but at line number nine, I'm getting a whole lot of things which is too much hard to understand. It says object, then a global, I don't know what to do with this. Surely we will understand this later on. Right now, we don't have enough of knowledge of actually understanding this. On to other hand, if I copy this entire code, move back here and clean the entire thing and try to paste everything here, hit enter. Notice here, both of the time, I'm getting this window object without even worrying about what my scope, what not is my scope and a whole bunch of other things. Now this is a little bit different from, let me show you something, please again, don't get confused. Uh, you can try to ignore that as well. If I just go ahead and paste this again, I go up here 
and I change this to something like this and I say var say name which is going to be equal to function right now this is going to give us the exact same output output if I run this notice a windows object both the time but in theory in behind the scene this is drastically different because notice here this is a variable this time and what we got in the code is a function so right now this is giving us the same result but doesn't it it shouldn't be giving it like that and I know this is a bit confusing right now that's why I didn't want it to confuse you much because functions are not a great way to just give you more examples on this this is not a correct way and that is why all those people who are in a super hurry told you see what happens it brings confusion and I don't want confusion in my series so what we're gonna say is we're gonna just remove this all of this all we are concerned about at this point is that yes we have a, this keyword here which gives us an access to the global context and global context differs in the situation in the case of node it gives me an empty scope in the case of browser it gives me an access to window object and that's it that's the whole idea I want you to take away from this video when we will understand more syntax and more things about JavaScript then we are gonna come back we'll load up the part 2 of this keyword and then you will understand it in much more detail this defining of or trying to explain you this keyword using functions is not a great way it will just bring confusion okay so I just wanted to cover it up as smallly and very briefly because we have actually uh, seen this keyword in the presentation that's why I wanted to just touch it but that's not my best that I'm get, trying to give, give up here okay so enough of this now let's go ahead and carry on with the more fun stuff with the JavaScript in the next video and that are gonna be much more fun let's go ahead and catch up